Hello everybody. Myself is Suji Thakre. I am the first Indian artist who has achieved a postgraduate degree from the Academy of Arts, Rapin Institute of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture in St. Petersburg, Russia. I am also the founder president of the Rary Heart Club affiliated to Russian Center of Science and Culture, New Delhi. I have an experience of 40 years as a professional artist. Let us continue our painting. Make the contour of the hand with fine brush. Give the shadow under the arm. Just look at hands. Hands gives us an indication of mood using body language, a person's age, their personality and even their lifestyle. Similarly, you can convey all those same things through a drawing of hands. At first glance, the hand looks pretty complicated. Aside from the palm and fingers, there are nails, tiny bones, veins, joints and creases in the skin. Each person's hands are different but have common characteristics. Think about the palm as a squarish section while the fingers are long cylinders. Circles indicate the joints. Determine how long you will make the middle finger and then use that as a basis to measure the others. You can also hold your pencil up to your reference and line it up with the angle of the fingers and then mimic those lines in your drawing. Do this too again to figure out the space between each finger. Draw the outlines and add the small marks for the creases and bones. You will use this as a guide for shading. Make the details in mind. Draw a rectangle on the right hand bottom corner. Drag a couple of straight lines from the right edge of the oval to the extreme end of the paper for the wrist. Create five straight lines as shown for the finger. Create a horizontal oval each for the middle ring and the smallest ring. You have to see the light and shade. Make the contour. Draw the fold. Simply draw a dark a light and a middle or grey tone. One may draw two lines of varying width or a heavy line with a parallel shape stick of little line. Apply dark shadow at the bottom of the breast. Focus on the position and motion of the body effect, the shape of the breast. Apply the patch of Indian red at the right and left at the bottom. A portrait artist enjoy duplicating the face of an individual onto canvas and other surfaces.
It is a challenge to paint an exactness of a person. The fine art artist is a master of reality faces and the human body. Force always has some point of support, whether internal or external. They tend to radiate from the point either by gravity or other forces. Force may be of many sizes and take varied shapes. Force may loose and open or tight and compressed. Apply the dark brown patch at the bottom of the hand and smash with crimson. I am not interested in showing that I can paint every hair on a person's head. But I would like to hear to wonder how I painted it so realistically without painting every hair. Bob Girbachat Give the dark shadow in the arm using strokes left to right. Here you have to see the folds very carefully here. Apply the middle tone of crimson here. Dark patch at the upper right shoulder. Apply the dark shade near the hand. The contour should be softer. Now make the contour of the hand.
make the tint of yellow ochre and crimson thin with water and apply on the hands make the gray shade by mixing yellow ochre black and white apply at the left side put the dark shadow at the right side close put dark shadow at the bottom apply dark shade of gray in the front part of the figure you see here are very beautiful fold you can work on the folds either when color is wet or you can make the folds on dry surface also idea of those who are going to buy your products rafael make the tint by mixing the yellow ochre white and crimson and apply on the face a variety of small brush strokes using stippling paint applied in dots and smudging technique is used throughout the painting of the skin stippling gives you the greatest control over the distribution of color when applying paint over larger areas such as the cheeks make the contour of the face and hair with small fine brush Here you see the light is coming from the left so the darkest contrast will be at the left After under painting the face with a mud tone flesh color there are three distinct steps that should be followed in painting the skin applying the dark tones applying the light tones refining the tone color and texture make the details of the face see the angle of the face and neck 
the skin should be painted over the hairline so that no gaps remain once the hair is completed the dark tones are applied with the persiana glaze over the flesh color under painting a variety of small brush strokes stippling and smudging is used to render the form of the face sketching is a quick freelance outline of the intended object drawing is a precise replica of the object an artist will make a quick sketch as an outline before painting to as a finished product other artists prefer to draw all details for accuracy then proceed to paint when one is painting one does not think rafael apply burnt sienna at the right side of the hair apply the strokes from up down Smash the color with the face and neck. Put light shade lower the chin. Realism is in the work when idealism is in the soul. And it is only through idealism that we resume contact with reality. Henry Bergson Make the details in hands. The tones, colors and texture of the skin are all built up in thin layer glaze of paint applied over the flesh tone under painting. transparent glaze of burnt sienna occasionally darkened with persian blue and naphthol crimson are used for the darker tone and color while more opaque glaze of titanium white are used to create the highlights on the skin the realist artist duplicates an exacting image of a person these portraits have been in existence for hundreds of years
फेसिस ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल फिगर सेलिब्रिटीज फैमिली मेम्बर्स फ्रेंड पेट्स एंड सेल्फ पोर्ट्रेट्स आर बट अ फ्यू ऑफ दूज फॉर रियलिज्म पोर्ट्रेट्स Again, some details have to give in face. Make the contour of the hair. The light tones are applied in the glaze of titanium white. to enhance the exciting form and to add some texture by suggesting traces of perspiration or oily skin note also how the form of the lips is completed with skin tones before any color is added to redden them a variety of small brush strokes stippling and smudging is also used for the light tone Defining the tone, color and texture is the final stage of painting the skin. Warmer scarlet and naphthal crimson are carefully stippled as thin glazes to suggest the blush of the cheeks, lips and subtle variation in the complexion. Basically idealism in art is where you ignore all the problems and annoyances you had run into trying to do the same thing in real life In the painting The Swing by Fragonard you see a young woman having a great time with her friend If you were actually in that situation so the man on the left would be constantly be nervous the girl is about to kick him right in the face the man on the right would be saying this sucks my arms are exhausted and the woman is the swing would be yelling crap my shoe can someone run and get that this is my favorite pair in the painting through all you see is the girl going wheel the guy on the right thinking isn't is fun and the man on the left sprawling out like this is the best day ever idealist is when you make a pretty scene and ignore all the parts that would kill the mood. In a lot of work atmosphere comes first 
and you can't always let the reality of the situation get in the way of that make the lighter shade by mixing yellow ochre white and crimson red apply in the hands and face contour should be soft torsion and the pose of the sun turning and rapture towards the heavenly light reflect the fire study of both the sinos grace of perugino's painting and the dynamic compositions of leonardo The ultimate essence of yoga is the contact and the union between the individual consciousness and the divine consciousness Raphael apply light on the shoulder the dark and light tones applied in the first two stages are finally heightened for dramatic effect by increasing their contrast and smoothing out any irregularities irregularities in their paint surface 